Gong practice number 335 today is Friday, July 30th, 2021. Currently 1.02 p.m. for me. Getting my practice in now. Um, really just trying to fill my own cup and making sure I'm taking care of myself, my self-love, self-care, being self-full, not selfish, and got to make sure you're taking care of yourself. The last six weeks I've been out of been somewhere else doing different things and not really focusing on myself and found that I really can dive back into who I used to be, easily fall into old habits, old routines, and it's easy to do that by being lazy and just letting things be as they are and not putting in the effort and to constantly grow, to be better, to be who I want to be. I have to put in effort every single day and practicing the gong is part of that and doing yoga. Today I got up and got some yoga in. Um, feel really good. Haven't done it in a couple weeks, honestly. The last the last six weeks, I've only done yoga once, and uh, it's just a matter about like, can I make time every day? Can I carve time out and do it? And the answer really is yes, I can carve out the time every day because all we have is today, and so we need to be mindful with our hours and our usage and what we're doing, and making sure that we're filling our cup, making sure that we're loving ourselves, and making sure it's everything that we need to be the best version of ourselves possible. So today I got up took care of some phone calls for an hour or so and did some yoga, shaved my head, shaved my face, got myself cleaned up, took a shower and now it's time to get a gong practice in. And it's like, what am I going to work? What am I going to do the work for my company? What am I going to sit from a computer to design? I mean, I've checked some emails already, like I said, made some phone calls, but tonight I'll work. I'll work tonight when the sun's down. I'll work when people are sleeping because that's how you get it done. You have to put your time into it, your effort into it, your energy into it. You want things to happen then you have to do it. No one else is going to do it for you. And if you want to sit and do nothing, you can do that. It's totally fine. That's your life. It's your existence. It's what you want out of your life. But it's not what I want because I know I can do more. I know I'm here to do more. And really the purpose of life is living life. And living life is doing things and growing and changing and not being stagnant. Being free-flowing like the rivers, like the streams. Not being a dam. Don't be stagnant. Don't hold the water. Don't hoard. Just let it free flow, let the abundance of the universe flow through you as I do, knowing that tomorrow is going to be okay because today is great. And if today is great and tomorrow is built upon today, then tomorrow is going to be awesome as well. I can say just okay, but I know it's going to be better than okay because everything is better when you believe it to be. And my life is amazing. I'm so thankful and grateful and just, just overwhelmed with joy with how I'm able to experience this experience in human form, in this cycle, whatever it is. It's just amazing, it's beautiful. And so, the beauty of the world that I can see has, my eyes were opened up more and more through sound, through the gong that sits before me, versus behind me, not before me, but in front of you. Uh, my gong, got from my gong teacher, Supernova Sarah, so thankful and grateful for her to bring so much into my life and help bring about the change, to help me bring myself into a better, frequency, a better vibration, a better energy. And it's all about being the change that you want to see and I want to be in a world of love. I live in a world of love and if others can do that as well, it'd be beautiful. And the gong, the sounds of the gong, the vibrations help bring me to that state and help me stay in that state and that's what I really realized being away for six weeks is that it's really easy to drift back. Like I said, it's easy to drift back but I can't get beat hard on myself in some manner. I can't look at it and say, man, uh, might as well just stop. No, I gotta keep going. I gotta get back on it. Just jump back on and do it. And so today I'm feeling great. We started drinking my Kanga 9.5 water again. was out of that for six weeks. Just had to rely on Costco 9.5. It's not the same. It's alkaline water. It's not alkalized water. It's not charged the same way when it's fresh from the machine. So getting that back into my system to recharge my body, getting the gong back into my system, getting the hand pan going, getting yoga flowing because that's all the different things that need to happen to make myself me, to keep myself me, to be the person that I want to be and as long as I'm doing what I want to do, then I'll be who I want to be. So gong practice is going to be in a moment. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, but if you do, what I recommend is create your own little sacred space if you like, get out your crystals, oracle cards. Um, incense, essential oils, anything that you need to make your space feel like your space, dim the lights if it's bright, 
you should have eyes to shadow or, or something to shade your eyes or shade the light so you can close your eyes and just go on a journey. All you need to do is simply turn off anything that's going to distract you, cell phone, make sure you have 30 minutes to be with yourself, present with the sound, and then you just focus on your breath, close your eyes and lay down, or lay down first and close your eyes and then focus on your breath. Nice deep breath in through your nose, filling your belly as much as you can and exhaling. Nice deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, you let it all go. If you want to imagine the breath coming through your heart and filling your belly so you're adding some extra love to the breath that's coming into you. And as you exhale, imagine it going through your heart as well. Even though it's really going through your nose, just imagine it going through your heart. Then you add some more love to what you're exhaling as you let go, as you breathe, as you exhale out. You want to let go of everything that no longer serves you, all the rubbish, all the trash, all the stuff that you've been carrying, the burdens, the blame, the guilt, the shame. You don't need to let you don't need to hold on to it anymore, just let it go and let it go with each breath into the nose, cleaning breath. Releasing it all out through the nose, imagining it going through your heart, just putting some love out there. No reason you can't have a little bit of love and the stuff that you're letting go of. Everything that's happened to you never happened to you, happened for you is an opportunity to learn to grow from. Don't be a victim, change the way you think about things. Everything happens so you can learn. That's what it's for. It doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. Anyways, back to your breath breathing. Get on my own little side tangent sometimes. So distracted by my own thoughts or whatever thoughts they are. Are they my thoughts? I don't know where they come from. But you focus on your breath. I'll play for 30 minutes. You can be awake if you like. Just don't drive a car or operate any, any heavy equipment because you may zone out while I'm playing and you don't want to be doing that. No reason to zone out and have something happen to you or somebody else because you listen to somebody play a gong. Better yet, just go ahead and lie down, close your eyes and focus on your breath. Let the sounds move through you, accept them as they do. Whatever happens, happens. You feel the need to sneeze or cough or eat your twitch, your body moves around, you want to cry, sneeze, whatever. Let it happen, accept it, it's part of it. Allow it, embrace it, don't resist it. Don't resist the energy that's flowing through you. This, these sound waves are going to go through you help realign things help things help bring things back into alignment so you can be a better you i promise that and i can say that with confidence by doing different things you grow and by listening to the sounds you've never listened to sounds before even if you have listened to sounds before you've never listened to sounds that are going to come out the way they come out because i never play the same way i just strike and see what happens because i'm just playing <laughs> really in the best sense of just having fun enjoying it smiling and loving it but those sound waves doing something different is change and so if you're listening these sound waves come through something new is changing is changing you it's new vibrations different vibrations and always playing with nothing but the intention of love why because i love you i love everybody some people are not as tolerable as others but they're still up there love for the human love for the ability to for opportunities that everybody is only limited by your own thoughts that's what limits you there are no limitations because we are limitless, limitless beings. We are infinite beings. What's inside of us, infinite ball of energy, and we go forever, forever. We are gods in human form. Some people could say that's blasphemy. I didn't say I was the god, did I? I said we're gods. We're gods because we have the ability to create, we have the ability to think, we have the ability to make things manifest instantly in our life. Unlock, you have to let go, you have to love, you have to grow. You have these are the certain, these are the rules, the laws of the universe. Be kind to others, love one another, and be free flowing and accepting and knowing you can't change anything. You have no control over anything except your thoughts, your words, and your actions you be the change that you want to see you want to see a world of peace and stop saying no more war just focus on peace be peaceful you don't want it when you don't want to see things and don't focus on them it's not ignoring them it's putting promoting the things that you love not things that you hate that's how you raise the vibration that's how you bring us bring us into a better state of existence a new earth, they say. Am I going to the new earth? I'm creating it.
Thanks for listening to that intro. I'm going to start playing the gong now. 30 quick minutes. I'll wake you up when it's done. You'll know when it's done because I'll wake you up with the sound of this hand pan. Something like that. Um, if there's any quiet time while I'm playing, it's just part of it. Just allow, accept the silence, embrace it, and uh, focus on your breath. That's all you got to do. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for, for being alive and sharing this moment with me or with the old me because my time is now done on here. I mean, in fleeting moments, this time has been recorded. And when you watch it, I won't actually be playing it right then, but, I'll, but I will be, though, in another way because time is not linear. Everything happens at the same time. Like I said, I love you. Thank you so much. 30 quick minutes. Enjoy. <sighs> Nothing but love coming your way.
slowly bring your attention back to yourself. Nice deep breath in through your nose, wiggling your fingers and toes as you let it all go. Taking all the time that you need to come back into your body, take a moment to breathe, connect to your breath, to say thank you, to be grateful for that 30 minutes of self-healing, for those sounds, for your ability to just be still. doesn't like to play. I think we should be playing more than anything else. Living should be playing. We should be having fun all the time. Uh, I'm going to share the five principles of Reiki. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I'll be grateful. Just for today, I'll be kind to others. And just for today, I'll focus on my work. Those five things every single day should be thinking about them. I can't say every single day I have because there's been days that I have not said them, that I got off track, but now it's back on track. It's not focusing on the things that I didn't do, but focusing on the things that are yet to do, yet to be, yet to, yet to happen. Make things happen. Plant good seeds, do good deeds, watch your world change before your eyes. Just keep every day planting seeds, planting seeds, nurture them, feed them, love them. Someday, when the right tomorrow becomes today, you look around at this beautiful world that you created. And don't think right now, if your world doesn't look so beautiful, don't think, well, man, what did I do? Why is it you saying it's all my fault? No. I'm saying you didn't know that you had the ability to create such things. It's not your fault for not knowing, but now you know. You can change it all. You just have to change yourself. And that's not easy. It's really not easy to say that's who I used to be. That's what I was. It's not easy to admit your wrongdoings, your mistakes. Sometimes it's not easy to say, I'm sorry I was wrong. Forgive me for being who I was because I didn't know who I can be. you know you can't go back no I guess some people can I cannot I love it where I'm at I love it to see where I'm going in a different direction a forward direction never looking back other than just looking back like I just did to ponder things no regrets just learn Everything happens for you as an opportunity to grow. And with that, I just want to say I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my experience, sharing this time with me, this space, this energy. As always, I appreciate your time, space, and energy. <laughs>